There you go. How you doing, man? Um, I wanted to, first of all, congrats on the win tonight, but I wanted to um, ask with MLK Day being tomorrow, uh, how, what does that day mean to you? And how has that meaning changed, if at all, uh, after uh, the past year where you had several moments where there was attention, added attention to race and, and civil rights in, in uh, the United States? I mean, it's a big deal. Uh, you know, uh, he did a lot for the country. Um, you know, everybody knows that. And, uh, you know, for me, there's nothing added on to it. Uh, I mean, I feel like we got to educate ourselves on a lot of other people as well, other than just Martin Luther King. There's a lot of other, you know, black, excellent people out there. And uh, um, all we do is throw MLK, Rosa Parks, or, you know, the, the names we always hear. But uh, it's a lot of other great people that have done things, but obviously uh, I love the day. Uh, it's good to have off, uh, you know, probably read a quote about him and uh, keep it moving from there. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Shane Young. Hey, Kawhi, congrats on the win. You're now shooting over 80% in the restricted area to begin the year. I'm wondering, do you feel like the increased spacing you have in these lineups helping you get cleaner looks near the rim? Well, I'm just making shots right now. Um, like I said before, my teammates are doing a great job of uh, being able to knock down a shot um, or just create offense out of the double team, and it does give me extra space. And, um, yeah, I'm just, um, you know, also giving credit to T. Lou with the offense. And, um, yeah, uh, you know, everybody wants to get better, and we just want to keep moving. Next question, Cam Buford. Hey, Kawhi, you had a pretty big third quarter in there, um, 11.5 assists. Will you talk about that third quarter, kind of your focus coming out of the halftime and kind of push your team to excel in that, in that second half? Uh, my focus was just trying to come out and, you know, play defense and uh, keep sharing the ball and just play to win. Um, that's all I did. Uh, things were able to open up for me and Paul in that third and, you know, uh, just just kept pushing. We said, you know, they paint a triangle, uh, uh, like a two-man, uh, you know, pretty much uh, zone, uh, denying me and PG everywhere. You know, I was giving my teammates a lot of shots, and I just told them to keep shooting. You know, that was my focus, uh, just trying to get them the balls in their areas um, and draw attention so they could knock down shots. Additionally, you guys had uh, a season-high 52 rebounds. Um, do you notice that when you're in the game? You guys started off in the first quarter real big, but do you notice that kind of trend throughout the game or as you're in the game? Uh, I mean, it's big for us um, on the defensive end. Um, you know, if you get a rebound, that's a stop for us, and we're going down on the offensive end. So, yeah, um, those are things I, I look at. Um, you know, we don't want to keep giving teams second chance points. Thank you. Thanks. We have time for two more. We'll go Andrew Greif. Hey, Kawhi. Um, Marcus and, and Ty were talking earlier about Ty's and the whole staff's importance of having dialogue, two-way dialogue between the players and coaches on – what you guys want to see run, what the coaches, what their input is. Um, Ty said that's really important for him to have that kind of dialogue throughout the season, whatever he's coached. How much, how much of a factor do you feel like that has been to your guys' pretty hot start to this year, 10 and four to start the season? I mean, it helps uh, when guys feel comfortable um, when they're playing and not able to, not just thinking a game uh, the whole time. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, it's early still. We still want to get better. We're not where we want to be. That's all I really got to say about it. How do you guys, when you guys have started out so well in a lot of respects, um, how do you guys guard against complacency? How do you guys um, keep pushing forward? How do we keep pushing forward? Yeah, how do you guard against complacency when you have started pretty well and whether it's three point shooting or defense in a lot of respects? Um, how do you guys guard against complacency? Because every game is 0 0. Thank you. Start. Thank you. Last question, Rachel Nichols. 
Hey, Kawhi. I'm doing a project on Kobe Bryant, and I'm asking guys what they remember from the very first time they played him. I don't know if it was your rookie year or what game it was. What do you remember from that? Um, just going in and just, uh, you know, I was on the San Antonio Spurs at the time. Uh, you know, um, at that time, that was my matchup. Um, just going in the game focused, pretty much. Uh, just dialed in, um, you know, ready to guard him. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, it's not really too, nothing too big. Um, you know, I'm a competitor at that point. I'm trying to stop him. Uh, trying to win the game. For a guy who grew up in Southern California, was there any larger than life feel of finally seeing this guy you had watched on TV on the court across from you? Uh, I mean, I can't even remember that time way back then. Um, you know, like I said, I, the only thing I can remember is, you know, me, uh, you know, before the game, um, pretty much uh, watching the shots, uh, you know, just, going out there focused, trying to win a basketball game. Um, you know, that's the only thing I could really remember. Then nothing really stand out uh, in the game. I mean, obviously he was a great player, got to his spots, made shots, uh, but it wasn't nothing real significant that, that night, I don't believe. Thanks, Cole, I appreciate it.